Breakups are so strange in the sense that they give you the illusion that you'll die without them. What is true, however, is the fact that a part of you did die, and so did the part of them. Every inch and cell of your body is screaming to go back to what you had because it's not like they've died, right? The pain is so unbearable that it feels like the only thing that could fix it is going back to them and reminding yourself that they still are alive. Except they aren't. The person you thought they were is no longer there, although the capsule of their body and mind may still exist. In fact, a part of you also died, and you yourself are not the person you used to be. You're not the same after numbing yourself to how unbearably flawed this relationship was. You're not the same after you've lost sight of yourself so much that you don't know who you are anymore without them. And you're certainly not the same, knowing that the one person you thought wouldn't betray you did. Heartbreak is not only the disappointment that follows this sense of betrayal, it's the agony that comes with realising you'll never get the memories and the person associated with those memories back. But when it comes down to it, we don't actually miss them. We miss who we were, who they used to be, and what we had together with them. What is important to remember is to avoid getting entranced by the illusion that everything was perfect. The relationship ended because the good times were overshadowed by the bad. Sure, that first anniversary you reminisce on was dreamlike beyond words, but do you remember how anxious you felt as you worried about whether you could both make it to the second? Do you remember all the times you pondered over the dreaded question of whether you can emotionally afford to stay? Do you remember that you felt more alone with them than how you feel now that you're actually alone? It is so valid and human to go through this devastating pain, but it's also important to remind yourself that this searing pain is better than staying with someone who makes you feel lonely. Unfortunately, no, you won't ever meet someone like them again. But again, you won't ever meet someone like them again. You'll no longer have to carry the weight of staying in a connection that doesn't serve you, You'll no longer have to worry about whether or not they truly love you, and you'll no longer be tortured with this on and off should I stay or leave paralysis. If you're holding onto hope, as hard as it is, don't. The path and process in moving on or getting back together is the same. Even if the latter were to happen, you have to live life as if they'll never come back again, regardless of whether or not they do. On a brighter note, this pain is something worth celebrating, because it's a sign that you're a great lover, a great partner, and a great person. You miss them, yes, but you had the opportunity to love. As much as it hurts right now, this pain is only indicative of how capable you are of loving someone, even if they weren't right for you. You are loving, you are capable of feeling, and you are, most importantly, human.